do with your boy Sensei Big time for a new unboxing. We're looking at Munch Pack, a subscription service that sends you snacks in a box. <laughs> You can't beat that, right? So uh, this service is pretty flexible. Um, I've, and when I have like 22 bucks, uh, and I believe I get between seven to 10 different items. Uh, this other one that gives you a bit more, uh, I believe you can get this like every two weeks or uh, it's kind of flexible for the services. So I'll leave a link down below. You can go ahead and check it out. But let's get to these snacks and see how many we got and see what we got. Let's do this my first time having this subscription box I try to go through a lot of different ones but you know this stuff costs money and monthly so I can't have them all like I used to get a loot crate I got daily high club but I can't maintain them all and try other ones too I'm when I want to try other ones so I had to cancel those and here we are so here we go side looks and inside a lot of information man. a lot of social media stuff what's this it says download the money oh that's a Snack scanner, okay. All right, that's how I look inside. Let's see. Um, you just made uh, made just for you by Ronnie. Oh, so they tell you who put it together. This was created by Ronnie, y'all. Uh, enter to win a free family pack. Take pictures, share on social. New media's announced. I mean, new uh, winners announced on the 25th of each month. Use hashtag munch pack. So if you take a picture, share it on social media, and use hashtag uh, munch pack, you have a chance of winning a free family pack. But look like a lot of snacks in the family pack. <laughs> a lot of snacks in the family pack. All right. I'll take this paper out. The paper right there said munch pack. Cool, cool. And they go to snacks. So let's do this. I'm just gonna grab randomly, y'all. I'm just gonna grab it. Oh, man, there we go. We got real hand cooked strong cheese and onion flavored potato chips. Interesting. From the United Kingdom. Whoa. That's the cover, y'all. I'm not gonna even read the back of this, but yeah. In case y'all wonder, it's two expiration dates on the back of that. All right, it's a strong cheese and onion. Hand cooked. Let's try these out, yo. Mmm, <laughs> from United Kingdom. It smells good. Now, my GoPro might not show the true colors of this, but yeah. It's like a, it's like a regular plain Lay's chip. Let's test it out. Mmm. Mm. Really crunchy. Don't really taste the cheese part, but the onion part, like it taste. It's good though. It's a good chip. I'm trying to think of remind me of here in the States. It remind me of Like Tim's, Tim's for the crunch. It's really crunchy. I'm trying to see the taste build up. Mmm, really good though. The more I eat, the more I start to catch a little bit of that cheese. But it's really light to me. But the onion is really good, but not overpowering. Some good chip, y'all. I'll buy this. It's a good chip. Grab two. <laughs> we have hula hoops, salt and vinegar flavored potato chips. A gift from the UK. Okay, hula hoops. Salt and vinegar. Okay, now this does say best before 4 8 2018. Then y'all see that now, so we'll try to panic and y'all get this. No artificial, no MSG. All right, 100% sunflower oil. Let's try these, though. Salt and vinegar. Hula hoops. OK. 
okay. <laughs> the little hoops, <laughs> the little hoops, y'all. Huh? Little ring for the big fingers. These are flavored potato rings. Hmm. Have like almost um a crunchy cracker texture. Yeah. It's vinegary, but not strong. Have you ever had Lay's? Uh, salt and vinegar chips, they're not as strong as that. They're like maybe half as strong as that. So if you don't like a lot of salt and vinegar chips, this might be something for you because I kind of like them, but because it's not that strong. Good. It's good too. It's good too. Wow. And it crunches. So even though the data says 4 or 8, they don't taste still at all. Mix it up a little bit. I kind of looked over there. We have a Belgium waffle, authentic. Oh, from Belgium. Okay, <laughs> this is actually from Belgium. They have a Belgium waffle, y'all. On the go, ready to eat. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. Let's go for it. You know. We have an already made Belgian waffle in the package. <laughs> All right. Smell good as hell though. Smell like it's already been dipped and stirred. Like it's a waffle and butter and uh, syrup already into it. Let's go for it. Lord have mercy. Mmm. This might not make it to the end of the video. Mm, God, boy, boy, this is so good, yo. This is so good. It tastes like I thought it tastes like it's been soaking in butter and Miss Butterworth syrup, yo. I'm telling you right now, this is this is like the best right now. I don't think missing from this is some cold glass of milk or cold glass of ice water. One or two would do. This is this is good. I want to finish this right now. I'll tell you too. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. Woo! That was good, yo. Honey stinger, gluten free. That lost me already. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what is gluten, yo? I'm 48 years old. I've been eating gluten since I was like one. Ain't lost a limb yet, but I did have cancer. Mm. No, it's kidding. Goose free, organic salted caramel flavor waffle. Okay, all right. This is from Canada. My neighbors. Hey, what's up, Canada? February 2020. I mean February 22nd, 2019. All right, good date on that. I guess she agrees in the back and everything, but this side look the packaging. Let's go. Open this up, man. We got a. Organic salted caramel flavored waffle. Not like that waffle. It's just a flat waffle. I can't get the damn bag off of it, though. You should know it's a wrap really good. Is this childproof? Jesus Christ. We got it, y'all. We got it. Okay, here we go, y'all. Organic salted flavored caramel flavored waffle. Get out of the bag, yo. Get it out of the bag, yo. Okay. That's how it looks. Then. Mmm, smell delicious. Smell like a graham cracker. Let's try it. Real soft to the bite. No crunch. Real soft. Mmm. It's not bad. Not as good as that waffle, of course, but mm. 
I like the texture of this though. It's not real hard, crunchy. It's like a soft, you bite it like kind of a soft, sturdy, soft piece of cooking. I don't really taste the caramel. I taste a little bit of the salt. This is not, it's not, it's not as good as this one, but it ain't bad either. This would be really good with a cup of a hot coffee a cocoa because it ain't that sweet. It ain't that sweet. It has a good little mellow mild flavor to it. Not a lot of caramel, some salt, some sugar, but still good. Not as good as that one, but this would definitely be a good one for like have a coffee in the morning or something like that. Yeah, no doubt. Not bad though. So far, everything's good so far. Sour Power Straws. Cotton candy. Mm, this is from the Netherlands. Ooh, fat free. The original. Oh, since when? Since 1985. Okay. Okay, these are sour power straws, kind candy, candy straws. This should be interesting. It's a lot of straws in here. <laughs> All right, here we go, y'all. That's the way it look. Got a lot of sugar on it, or is that salt? Oh, no, 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 that's sugar, probably sugar. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, it's foul. <laughs> no, no, no. But it's good, though. This is what I'm going any sauce that we have in the States. We had a sour can like this already. I ain't no power yet, y'all. Woo! Oh, how good. It's sour. We passed the sour test for real. Not bad. But that might be my, my least favorite so far because. It has a sour, but it has this kind of like this aftertaste that I really not feeling right now. But I can still eat the whole pack. So, but not my favorite, but still not bad. Not bad. We have some, uh, oh, okay, that's not the one. Some mint toast from the Netherlands. Mint toast popping fruit flavor. Uh, chewy and fruity colorful candies. It says from the Netherlands. Nice packaging. I think I have seen Mentos uh, in this packaging. Okay. 8, 2018. Okay. Let's try these out, y'all. Kind of, kind of crazy to open here. We gotta use, use the knife for this, y'all. Okay. okay, nice and covered candy. That's how it looks. It looks like Mentos. A little more shinier though than that. God, I lost one. I can't even get it. We'll try one of these, the yellow one. Mmm. 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 That's good, y'all. That's good. Because it carried the name Mentos, I wouldn't think anything less. That's good. I will go through to my least favorite. Mmm. Let me chew that up real quick. Woo! That's good. We have Spring Home, oh boy, Cocktail, <laughs> Prawn Rose, China, original, 3818. <laughs> All right. I may have to assume that they know that this date here really doesn't really 
I, I apply to a lot of things because it's like chips, forms, and then bags. So look at that. Cocktail prawn rolls from China. <sighs> Gotta do it, man. Gotta do it. God! Woo! <laughs> you know what it smells like? Have you ever opened up a little thing, a, a fish food for your fish at home and smelt it? Uh, times that by five, yo. <laughs> I actually like the way fish food smells. This smells times five, though. Yo, I'm, I'm hesitant to get this. I'm hesitant. I'm hesitant. Oh, oh, God. It don't smell good. I get it. Like, if you if you buy this to eat, like, I'm going to buy something to eat. Let me smell it first. You're going to put it back. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, God. That's how it looks, y'all. I'm going to try one, though. I'm going to try one to be fair, because even though it doesn't smell pleasant, maybe it's a pleasant surprise inside, all right? Now, if I ain't back in five minutes, send for help. Mm-mm. Oh God, oh God, oh God. Do not, do not do it to yourself. Oh, I can't breathe right now. Oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wow. Okay. This is, this is weird. The smell of the bag, terrible. The initial taste of this, terrible. But as you chew, as you chew, it gets better. It tastes better. And now I have this aftertaste of a little bit of spice, a little heat with shrimp. And it tastes good. Let me try it one more time, yo. I, I'm confused right now. This stinks. This stinks. This tastes gross. So the phone call. As it tastes though, amazing. I love the shrimp. You know the shrimp, the shrimp, uh, kind of like chips you get here in the states. I love those. Okay, not bad. Not bad. On the on the back end. The front end, the door got to be closed though. <laughs> you got to close the front door, but the back door can be open a little bit. I'm half and half with this. Crazy, right? We have, I can't even pronounce this, y'all. There's some chocolate, though. Uh, crunchy chocolate cookie filled with chocolate cream. Romania. Wow. Romania. Look at that stuff. I've never been to Romania, yo. This is cool, man. You can't really see a package because they put the, the, the stamp in the front. They do put the, like, they have that name in the back, but it gives you like the uh, uh, English version, definition of it right there on those white tags. I wish they put that in the back though, but still you see the packaging. So these are chocolate cookies that are filled with chocolate cream. Give it a shot. Um, I need to get the expiration date. Oh, here we go. Where is it? 28-8-2018. All right. Those strip things are banging. They got some heat too, a little bit too. I'm not surprised by that. All right, here go the cookie. Chocolate cookie dipped in chocolate, I mean, uh, stuffed with chocolate cream filling. Those are the, the cookies we have here, the chocolate cookie with the chocolate filling here, with the fudge. That would look like fudge. All right, here we go, y'all. Smell like chocolate. Smell like chocolate. Let's do this. Real good. Mmm. Mmm. They remind me of the fudge cookies we have here in the States. You know, the round ones. They had the white filling. Some have the, 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 the dark top and the light top chip I mean, cookie together. Or some have all the chocolate ones with the fudge inside. They like those. 
Good. What's up, y'all? Good box so far. Good box so far. I'm gonna have about two more things in there. This is, oh my God. Um, I can't pronounce that. This is seasoned seaweed snack. Crunchy and salty dry seaweed chips from South Korea. Wow. South Korea, I've been to Korea. I've never been to South Korea though. This is a seaweed snack. I love the fun of seaweed. I don't even like sushi. But we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Wish me luck. I'm going in heavy. Seaweed time, y'all. Going in heavy. Going in heavy. Just the way it looks, just the container comes in. That's the seaweed. There it is, y'all. Say, say, yo, yo, hey, pancreas, don't wear any pancreas. All right, that's right, y'all. Let me just check a piece of I don't eat the whole thing. Seaweed time. South Korea. Oh, God. Mama, say, Mama, say, Mama, back, say, oh. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Oh God! Mm. No. Mm -mm. Oh God. Mm. I feel like I just licked the beach, yo. Oh. I just went down the beach. You know the kind of the water comes in and leave all that green stuff on the on the beach side. I feel like I just ran and did this here. Uh. <laughs> Lick the whole beach, yo. Uh. -uh. These are my least favorite. I can't do that, man. Woo! I can still taste it. Mm -mm -mm. Where's the cookie at, yo? Mm -mm. Wash it down the cookie. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No! Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm. If you eating this to diet on, yo, you crazy. Just be fat. <laughs> this is rough, yo. Woo! All right, moving on. Last item. Oh, please be better than got than them them them, them, them seaweeds, y'all. Woo! Mm. All right, we got uh uh glico a glaco bisco hatco. I'm, I'm, I probably said it's all wrong. Butter cookies, sweet and salty buttery cracker sandwiches. Filled with sweet buttercream, Japan. I have been to Japan, beautiful place. But they don't give a dang about American money over there. <laughs> uh, sweet and salty buttery cracker sandwiches filled with sweet cream, sweet buttercream. With the packaging. All right, let's go with Japan, yo. I like the way it's open up the box, though, nice and easy. Okay, it's the other one now. They're coming like this. Okay. Take one of these out. That seaweed is dangerous. Like, who eats this by themselves, man? Like, why? Why would you do that? <laughs> seaweed got me upset. <laughs> seaweed got me hostile, yo. Oh, God, can I open this up or why? I think what they eat it or something. They want me to eat it? I want to eat it. Wait a minute. They need to quit. This side of the cracker, you know, it's got to be from Japan or somewhere. They, they eat small or whatever. <laughs> I'm a Texan. I eat big. Hold up. Oh, what? Hold on. Hold on. This package is so hard to get out, y'all. I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh, here we go. All right. That's the cookie. Buttery cracker, cream filled. Nice and small. Goddamn, tastes good, though. I ain't gonna lie. Tastes good. It tastes like... I 
I got buttery cracker with some little salt and cream cheese, like a sweet cream cheese in the middle. This is delicious. And the, and the crack is nice and small. This is good. Very good. So overall, out of everything that I had here, we have some, we've been eating a lot though. Out of everything that I've had, the one thing I cannot suggest you get is this. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, this is like, I can't do the seaweed, man. But other than that, man, I never really ate seaweed like that before anyway. So it was still a good experience, though. So everything is great. I didn't like the seaweed, but the box itself is definitely nice. Again, link is down below. Go over to Munch Pack. Um, and get your subscription to it. I think you might have fun with it. You'd like to try different snacks from different parts of the world. And uh, it's a good experience, you know what I'm saying, if you've never been. And you get like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 snacks in this one. And they got different packages, different size. So hope you enjoyed the video down below. Which one is you would not try? Leave that in the comments, guys. Don't forget the video thumbs up. Guys, please give the video thumbs up. I'm watching Aaron birthday stream. He got about six people in his live stream. He only got one thumbs up for an hour plus stream. Come on, man. If you're watching uh, your YouTuber, help us out, man. Help us out, man. You know? And and th you give all these other love to people who don't even acknowledge the subscribers, but you don't give love to people who actually acknowledge you guys. So uh, help us out and help the channel grow, and it's better for everybody. Don't forget to leave a video. Uh, Forget to share your content, share my video on your social media too. They have some lot. And thanks for watching. I appreciate y'all. It's your boy since it be. I see you real soon, y'all. More munch packs coming. Ha! I'm out of here, y'all. Peace. Oh, hell no. You better subscribe and press that thumbs up button, fool.